Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Halloween wreath. This wreath I picked up at At Home for $17.99 and these little embellishments and this ribbon came from Dee's Louisville in Kentucky. However, they're no longer in business. They retired and shut the business down, but I did purchase that from them last year. So we're going to put this together. just going to end up zip tying these on somehow. I only have this and that. <clears throat> Take these tags off. Okay, friends, we're going to get this tag off of here, and then I'm going to work on the placement on what I want to do with my embellishments. So here, I realized that I could just break these apart. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just breaking them up into smaller pieces, and because I want to be able to place them throughout the wreath. It came as one, and I didn't want to just stick it on. I want it to be in the wreath. So I'm, I broke those apart and then I'm going to trim them up and I'm going to zip tie them to the wreath. I have four pieces, so I do want to evenly distribute it through the wreath. So here I'm just placing it down. I'm not zip tying anything just yet. I just want to make sure that my placement is correct and that it's even. And then I'm going to go back in with some black zip ties and zip tie it down. All right, so black zip ties, because I don't want to glue this on. Um, if I don't like it, I want to be able to take it off. So now I have to find where I laid the stem and I'm just going to zip tie it to the frame. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. It's almost like the, owl, the eyeballs are coming out of the forest. <laughs> I love Halloween. Let's put the eyeballs. Actually, I wonder if I can take these off too. Yep, we can. Okay. Break these apart too. So I grabbed some more zip ties and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to figure out my placement and I'm going to zip tie it in place. And 
And I want the same effect. I want it um, evenly dis distributed around the wreath. Okay friends, now it's time to work on my bow. All right, so I'm gonna pinch and leaving the tail up. I'm gonna twist it, bring it around, pinch it down, twist, make a loop. Pinch that down, twist. All right, now we're gonna go in with the green. and twist. The best advice I have for anyone who wants to make a bow is to practice. Go get you some wired ribbon. You have to have wired ribbon. I guess you don't have to, but it, it's easier. It makes makes life easy. One more, one more. No, one more. You could use floral wire. Um, I just like to use a zip tie. I feel like it holds it better and uh, makes the loops pop up. I need a pipe cleaner. All right, I don't have a black one, but I do have a silver one. That will work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get, get the zip tie started. Once I get it started, I pull it to the back. And I'm gonna add a pipe cleaner to the back underneath the zip tie. Now I'm going to crank it all the way down. The pipe cleaner gives me a way to attach it to my wreath. This is called uh, fluffing the bow, breaking the bow. I've heard it heard it several different ways. I've always called it fluffing the bow. You call it whatever you want to call it. I will fuss with a bow. It's, it's constant. Even the bows, even the wreath that I have at the house, and if I walk by it, I will I will fluff it up. I do the same thing at my mom's house. When I show up at her at her door. All right, now let's put it. I like that green. I almost want to take it apart and just do the orange, purple, and you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to.
know, maybe three? No, I'll do four. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it work. show you okay friends this is my completed project i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye